everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my, what month is this? March, March update for Franken Lee, my dear. I don't give a pan. This is an all Franken product project. It is, um, it was, the original collab was me, Amanda and Dana and um, they're my girls. I talked about them every single day, like literally every single day, all day. They are just my girls. And we have had other people that have joined in, which I think is awesome because, well, I love frankening and um, it's it's a way of life for me. If I don't like something, I'm gonna change it till I make it the way I like it. That is just how I am. I do that in all sorts of things in my life. I change recipes, <laughs> you name it. I will tweak anything to make it work for me. That That's how I roll. And this project is just so right up my alley and um, I'm enjoying it immensely. I cannot wait till I get to Franken some more things. Not that I don't do it anyway. Just, you know, I'm Frankening things that are in other projects and they're not in this project because they were already in that other project where I had to Franken them to make them work for me. You know how that goes. Th th this is me. So anyway, this is an open-ended project. It started in January and, um, it's going to go for as long as we want to Franken things or as long as we want to do this project. I We do a lot, especially me and Amanda, we do a lot of projects like that where they could just go on forever and ever and ever. And we either get sick of doing them or we just keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. I have a feeling this might be one of those projects for me that's just going to go forever because y'all know I love to Franken. So let's get into the actual products but before we do that i am going to show you where my magnetic palette of franken products was prior to this and this is where we are right now so yeah there's there's some changes i'm going to pull them out one at a time and show you this one i'm not going to pull out that's the jane iredell blush that i franken the heck out of I haven't even touched that. I'm not going to touch it until this Sephora one is done. So let's show you that one first. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to see just how big that dip is. I feel like every time I use this that I'm going to hit pan and I just don't. But it is going to happen. It is definitely going to happen. I, I am like 99% certain that I am going to have pan in this bad boy and major pan at that. By the next update, I think that's going to be like, it's not going to be a goal because I know it's going to happen because it's the blush that I pretty much use every single day. Um, I would love to get to the point where I kind of need to repress it because of the brush that I use. Um, if it gets too much in the edges, it's just not going to work for me. So let's see if we can get to the point of needing a repress. That, that would be a very good goal. Bare Minerals Warmth that has been franken within an inch of its life. I had to repress it because um, I wasn't able to really get much on my brush. It was in the edges. You can see how thin this is. Like big pan here. There's like peekaboo pan here. Um, this better be done by the next update or I might just scream. I, I know it's going to be. I only missed two days of makeup in the month of February and I could not have finished this in two days. So it's not like um, those two days... And the two days in January, like maybe four days would have made, it, made a big difference. But um, I still don't think I would have had it finished because I use it like I use it all around. And uh, because my foundation's a little bit too light for me right now. And so I've been bronzing and uh, it shows with all that pan. I think I think um, I'm going to have to roll in something new next month. I just have to figure out what I want to franken. Um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what mood strikes me but I will be doing something it won't be another bronzer though because I have a bronzer in another project so I'm going to switch to that bronzer but I'll think of something to work on um and then my eyeshadow my kind of nudie with a little bit of um glitter eyeshadow look at the pan yeah I use this pretty much every day now and um I use it on my brow bone because the eye base that I'm using is kind of like a bronzy shimmery color and I don't want my brow bones to look like that so I use a little bit of concealer on my brow bone and then I um, put this up there just to give it a little bit of something and um, I will probably end up having to repress this it would be kind of cool if I could finish this one by the next update and maybe maybe roll in two products that would be really cool all right those are my powder products so I do have two 
um, Franken like tinted lip balms, this like warm one that barely shows any tint whatsoever. I actually keep this one on my nightstand and um, I use it regularly and I just smeared my line. It was wet and um, I made a hot mess of it. Oh well, you'll be able to see and I will remark the line. Um, so I was at the red here last time and I really didn't use it much in January. So it like I might have used it once or twice. I just I wasn't even thinking about it. So really there was no January progress. This progress from here to here and I'm marking from where the product starts here. My purple line got smeared. Um, that's pretty darn good for one month's worth of use. I actually forgot how much I enjoyed this. Um, because it does have like a lip plumping, tingling kind of balm mixed in with it. And it's very emollient. And I just, I love it. This is perfect for me going to bed. I just, I like the tingle. I'm weird, I know. But it is so rich and so creamy that my lips are still very happy in the morning. Even if I don't wake up in the middle of the night and reapply. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep this on my nightstand. You never see it in my makeup baskets because it just sits on my nightstand over there. And um, I always put it on before bed. So lots of progress on that one. This one, not so much. This is um, like a shimmery one. I kind of have a little bit tapped on um, like the center of my lips, but barely. Um, you can see my lines like right here. Let's pull the cap off. Um, I'm rolling it down because I can actually see light through it. Um, I was at the red where I started. I was here at this purple last time. I'm just barely below that purple. If I was to draw another line, um, it would actually kind of like smush into the other purple line. But um, you can see in here how much product I have used. So it's definitely getting use on it, but um, I need to step it up on this. But, you know, again, I'm, I'm using this one much more frequently. And as long as one of the two is getting good use, I am happy about that. Um, I've got a bunch more like this one that I can roll in at some point, but it won't be next month. I can tell you that it won't be next month. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good about my progress on all of these products so far. And um, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully two empties and some good pan on this one. That is my goals for, um, for the next update. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Definitely go check out the other ladies. They're going to be linked down below. If you want to join in, um, absolutely. We would love to have you on this journey. It is open-ended. Franken until your heart's content. And, you know, if you want to film your Frankening, I will be very willing to watch it because I love it. That is like my ASMR. I know I'm a weirdo, but eh, I embrace the weird. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.